Welcome to River City Plus. It is the show after the show, and today I am joined by Adolfo Latore. There you go. You, I, I, right. I, I, you gotta roll the art. You did roll it. You rolled it really nice. <laughs> I like it. Practice. And part of that is because my man here, he's got a new coloring book, new uh, children's book, and it's all about counting in Spanish. So we got to hold the book up. And it's, you, gonna, you gonna hold it? I, 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 I didn't I, know if you was gonna hold it for me. Oh no! Nah, I, I got it now. I'm holding it, it I now. Hold the coloring book. Okay, you got one. I got the other. Yeah, See, like that, yeah. this improv team is not working. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. So Adolfo, I met him previously in a bunch of different iterations. He's an actor, a director. I found out later he's a graphic artist. And now I'm like, children's book author? My man, is there anything you cannot or will not do? I mean, no. I, I mean, thanks for the, the credits and stuff <laughs> like that. No, I mean, I'm just a natural uh, creative. I've been doing creative stuff since I was a child. So just a natural progression. I've illustrated other books in the past of... Uh, Locally here, cornbread is one of the big ones that are floating around in the school system right now. It's the first one that I really did that a lot of people know me for as far as like illustrations go. So just thought I'd you know, give it a crack. So you're an illustrator, and so I, I didn't even realize that would translate into books with what you do. You've been drawing since you were five? Since I was five, yes. And you managed to create a career out of it? it just, yeah. And now you're – how did you get into – this aspect, like I said, I knew you from uh, directing and mm -hmm. acting. Yeah. How did you get into the book writing aspect of things? Well, a lot of the authors that I illustrate books for, so I've illustrated probably like 10, 15 books, and they've always told me that, you know, you can give it a try, you know, you can try, because I always had an interest. I just didn't know what I wanted to do, and then one morning I just woke up, and I was like, you know, there's a... I felt like there's a missing void for when a child is young and they're trying to learn Spanish, because you only learn it from, like, VPK to kindergarten, mm -hmm. and then once you get to like elementary school, they kind of like they leave it alone, and mm -hmm. then middle school you have to learn it again, and high school you have to, all to graduate. So I'm like, what if I can come up with something that can help them start keeping it up from you know elementary school all the way to middle school, and just making it fun. So what I mean, obviously Spanish is the easiest conversion, but mm -hmm. like, why was it important for you to make this connection with kids like that? Well, I mean, being Hispanic myself and, um, you know, my, my kids, you know, they, they're they not the best in bilingual, and I wanted to try to help them as well, you know, so that way as they transition, getting from middle school to, you know, high school and elementary and all that stuff, that it makes it easier for them and other people. And it's also backwards compatible, so anybody coming here to the States who doesn't know English that well, you know, they can also learn because the, work, the book is color-coded. So if you, if you take a look inside the book, you can see the passages, you know, when he says he likes to sing. So he says he likes to sing seven days a week, la, 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 la. Me gusta cantar siete días de la semana, la, 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 la. So you see semana and week is color-coded. So, so they can figure it out that they match. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, and so there's also a glossary in the back, too, to kind of help them out even more. And then I also have an audio book version so they can hear it and learn how to uh, pronounce it all the words correctly as well. So you've got the book. Why did you decide to go with the coloring book option as well? Uh, the coloring book, is just something fun? Because sometimes kids just want to color and they just want to create their own little characters. So in the book, there's like 52 pages in the book. Some of the stuff is like mazes and, you know, this, this is your classic coloring book stuff. It has um, crossword puzzles that have words in English and Spanish in them. It has, you know, this, this bunch of different fun stuff that he's doing. You know, he has, you know, unscramble the words, you know, so you can learn how to unscramble the words in, in, in Spanish. That's creative, man. Like, trying. When, you, when I think of coloring books, I'm like, it's just going to be, you know, splash down. But you're actually getting the mind activated. It's mm -hmm. not just sitting there, I hate to say mindless, but, you know, coloring, just yeah. like, oh, da, da, da. But with uh, the maze and the cross, I remember doing those as a youth and how engaging it was. And especially these days, it's another opp opportunity to get kids off of tablets. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. So, you know, I got big plans for I want to eventually animate it so I can do like a free version for for the kids just to kind of like a door to explore type of thing when they get us go on YouTube or something and just watch, you know, a quick 35, 45 seconds maybe, you know, and just gradually just keep it going up and linking it longer and longer so they, they can just get some more information. So you're laying foundations. Laying foundations, you know, trying. So can we talk about that a little bit just to pivot away from the mm -hmm. book? Why is it important for you to 
be so involved in so many activities and laying foundations and thinking long term because mm -hmm. most of us are kind of in that instant gratification right. all right i've got this completed on to the next but you're actually thinking further ahead with your goals <sighs> I don't know. I just I just enjoy being creative. I mean, this is something that I've got a passion for. So these are just things that I enjoy doing. And I just, you know, put myself forward and just keep trying to accomplish all the goals I can. I set small goals. And then once I get those, I keep just moving the goalposts. Did you anticipate that your career would take this path? Like when you're drawn as a youngster, you're just like, all right, this is fun. And then you get into graphic arts like, oh, I made a career. And uh -huh. now that the different directions that you kind of branched off into, did you anticipate that these kind of avenues would present themselves? No, man. Honestly, when I was uh, growing up, I thought I was going to be like a comic book artist. And then um, shock came. I wasn't that good. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I, you know, I kept at it because drawing was my passion and then, found graphic arts and then they're almost like one hand washes the other so you know each one of them lead into something else so you know there's tons of things that you know I do use my art for to graphic arts so then it translates to doing the video stuff where I'm doing the editing film and writing you know and I can also turn you know Julian which is the name of the book is uh, coloring with Julian counting with Julian um, I can turn that into a feature film you know for yeah. You know, I so see every, where you're going. Yeah, so everything ah. one hand washes the other, so it's just like, you know. So once you uh, once he gets his glow up and has his feature film, yeah. we're gonna be like, oh, we know Adolfo when he first started, and and I got to say, I'm glad you said the book name because I was going with the American version. Well, uh, that's cool. You know, some people say um, coloring with Julian and counting with, with, with Julian, but. You know, in Spanish, most of them are going to say Julian. So I like that. I like it. I like it too, man. So besides learning a little bit of language and stuff, mm -hmm. what do you hope people take away, especially parents, what they might take away from having their kids be a part of this and learn? I want to make this like a brand. I want them to, to, to be embedded in the, you know, in the fabric of the community. You know, when they think of learning, you know, it's English to Spanish. I want them to think Julian. I want them to think, you know, like how they got Dora to explore it. And, you know, he, the book is also like in a, like a rhyme scheme a little bit. So, you know, if you read it, you can kind of hear the, the cadence. So it's also teaching them how to rhyme. It's Are teaching you them musically like, inclined too? I, don't, I wouldn't say I'm musically inclined. I mean, I've tried to rap a few times. <laughs> you know, I think everybody has, you know. <laughs> I love you. He's like, I tried. Yeah. So I guess we weren't super successful, but we're getting No, there. no, no. Not, 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 in that, not in that one. <laughs> not in that vein. Uh -uh. And then what do you hope for, like, maybe you can get into schools with it as well? Yeah, I mean, I'm hope I'm hope so. I also do like school visits. So I'm right now I'm currently doing school visits with uh, communities and schools. So I go to summer camps right now. Sometimes I do it during the school year, and I teach kids how to draw using like shapes and letters. It's kind of get in their mind to think different. Like when they see certain objects, they oh I can't draw that. I'm like, yeah, you can draw that. Let me just show you how to draw. And I go to school and I and I help them out. So hopefully through all of that, I'm also gonna let them know that I've illustrated a new book because a lot of them know about cornbread. So mm -hmm. For those of you who've seen some of my work before, you've seen Cornbread, which is out there in the community. And now he's laying the foundation with his own style. Yes, yes. All right, so what else we got going on? I mean, I know we've got the coloring book, mm -hmm. but there's other projects. Yeah, I'm um, wrapping up um, filming a new movie um, called Shadows of the City. I actually got you to do a cameo in it. I know, I played a journalist because yeah. I'm not one in real life. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they say, right? <laughs> but yeah, hey, but you knocked it out the park. It came out, it came out good. So I appreciate it. Yeah, I definitely, mean, definitely. We'll yeah. talk about craft services next time. But <laughs> yes, yes, yes. That's the second one you did for me, though. I did. Oh yeah, yeah. I was a, I was a deacon in another one. Yeah, this one actually had lines. Watch out, people. Hey, he's coming. Oscar Award, Tony Award. Be yeah. very afraid. I get up, <laughs> get up on stage like Adolfo. You gave me my. Friend. Hey, listen, I'll take it. <laughs> No, but and then what's it like for you to be so invested in the creative scene? Because I've met so many people here, mm -hmm. and Jacksonville has a mad talent. Oh, it does definitely. It's a melting pot of talent. I mean, and it's like people from different genres, different. Uh, yeah. And but most everybody is really into collabing with each other mm -hmm. and supporting each other. How awesome is that? That we're in a city that. 
people are really trying to prop up your creatives and put Jacksonville on the map because we've made some impacts. Like, we've been to Cannes. We've been to all kinds of film festivals yeah. around the world, around the country, and people are like, Jacksonville. Oh, and then with the new film and set, tax incentives. I've seen that, yeah, I've seen that. It's about to get live up in here. Nah, that's good, man, but it's what we need, man. There's a lot of people out here doing a lot of good things. There's a lot of projects coming through town. I mean, I know my buddy Junior Ashford just dropped his project. Um... I know Dr. Sean, she has her project that she's working she's on. She's in hers, yep. You know, I, my guy Chad Hendricks, they just did something at the, um, what's that, the uh, Five Points Theater that's just okay. about to Sun start. Yeah, Sunray. Yeah, I, I did some films there too, but there's a lot of people out here that are that are doing stuff. So, you know, and I, I've had the opportunity to work with, with most of them, I'm, you know, and I love collaborating with people. No, well, we're looking forward to seeing what you have on tap, so... Coloring with Julian, counting with Julian, or if you want to go uh, Florida style, Julian. There you go. Uh, <laughs> style, I like that. I might have to make that. Florida style, Florida Julian. Florida style, Julian. So we're doing big things here in Jacksonville. If people want to connect with you, find out more about your books, some of the other stuff you've got going on, what's the best way? Uh, they can go to, for books, you can go to um, Julian fanclub.com you can get the books there. You can do everything. If you just want to reach out to me, you can just go to Mars 3045 at um, Instagram. All right. Well, support your locals, people. I always say it, and getting them early into language, it's going to benefit in the long term. Trust me. Definitely. So we're going to have more River City Plus tomorrow, and at 930, of course, River City Live.